Hi friends, welcome to Botany, the language of plants and today's topic is about Cymos inflorescence. So, we know that uh, in case of Cymos inflorescence, always terminal flower produce. So, Arachis or peduncle always contain a terminal flower. This is the main character of cymos inflorescence. Now, uh, there are many types of cymos inflorescence. First is solitary. So, solitary means we know that single. So, when flower always arise in a single uh, peduncle or rachis, then this is called solitary flower so from this axis a single flower produce so this is known as solitary so hibiscus roja sinensis is a example of uh, solitary cymos inflorescence now second type is monocasial Monocasial also known as uniparous. In case of uniparous or monocasial cymos inflorescence, always single flower produce, but end portion of a flower axis again contain a flower. So, if this is a primary axis and always primary axis contain a terminal flower terminal single flower so here primary axis contain a terminal flower but at the end portion of this flower again a single flower arise so this is a special type arrangement now at this end of this flower again a single flower arise so this type arrangement known as monocasial or uniparous now uniparous due to their arrangement of development this monocasial or uniparous type cymose inflorescence also divide into two types. Let's talk about it. So, these two types are helicoid, helicoid cymose inflorescence and another is scorpioid. So, helicoid cyme and another is scorpioid cyme or cymose inflorescence. So, in case of helicoid, primary axis contain a single flower. So, this is a primary axis and this primary axis contain a single flower. Okay. Now, end of this flower, again a flower arise. right now end of this flower end of the second flower again a single flower arise right now this third flower again contain a single flower so here we can see that all flower produce from a single side from a same side from this side right from a uh, lateral side and this from this side same side so this is a helicoid type cymos inflorescence but in case of scorpioid if this is a primary 
axis and this is a terminal flower okay so next flower produced from this portion end of this flower okay end of this flower axis again second third flower produce alternately means from this portion alternate portion alternately and produce a flower again fourth flower produce opposite to this arrangement so from here so this is the main difference between scorpion and helicoid in in case of helicoid cymos all flower produce from a from same side right from same direction but in this case of scorpion cymos inflorescence flowers arise from alternately right first flower produce here then second from this portion third is alternate from this second right so this uh, direction like a scorpio movement scorpio uh, movement like uh, like zigzag type right so here zigzag like movement we can see in this case of scorpio type cymos inflorescence but in helicoid type cymos inflorescence all flower produce from a same direction and finally in this case means in helicoid cymos a coil like inflorescence we we will see okay so this is about monocasial or uniparous type inflorescence next type is dicasium dicasial or biparous cyme so in case of dicasium or biparous cyme primary axis primary floral axis contain a single flower right then this primary uh, floral axis contain again two lateral flower okay so again this axis contain two lateral flower and this flower old flower okay and these are the young so these are the young flower and these flowers are larger than this flower okay so this is a dicasium type flower again this two lateral flower again produce two lateral flower okay so this type floral arrangement or inflorescence is called biparous means biparous or dicasium type inflorescence okay so primary axis or middle flower contain a flower single flower and this axis again contain two lateral flower again this lateral flower act as as a this uh, first flower right so this flowers also contain two lateral flower again so this type inflorescence is known as dicasium so if we give number so this is a first flower right then this is second flower right and these two flower produce at the same time okay and so this is second and these are the third and for this this is also same so this is third or fourth so this is the arrangement of dicasium or biparous type flower inflorescence now next type cymos inflorescence is polycasium so polycasium also similar with dicasium polycasium also known as multiparous multi 
virus. In case of dicasium sign uh, inflammation, we see uh, we saw that two type two lateral type um, two lateral flower produce right. But in case of polycasium, if this is a floral axis, right? So this is a floral axis and we know that cymose inflorescence always contain a terminal flower so here terminal flower present now here two lateral uh, flower produce but here polycasium means more than two lateral flower produce more than two lateral flower produce okay so this type inflorescence known as polycasium type inflorescence or multiparous again these flowers these young flowers again contain more than two lateral flowers so this type arrangement we see we, uh, we can call this type fuller arrangement as a polycasium type so here from primary axis more than two lateral flower produce and again the secondary axis again contain more than two floral axis so this is known as polycasium or multiparous type inflorescence now some special type cymose inflorescence also present so these are uh, verticillister okay so verticillister inflorescence in verticillister inflorescence we will see two type mix of two type inflorescence that is dicasium type and monocasium type both inflorescence are present within this verticillister so if this is a primary axis or rachis okay and first flower produce from each node okay so from this portion a single flower produce and and from this portion again a single flower produce and this is make a dicasium type dicasial type arrangement how again this flower this flower contain two lateral flower okay so here two lateral flower and again this flower this primary flower again contain two lateral flower okay so it looks like a dicasium type inflorescence right here a uh, uh, single flower right first flower then second to lateral flower produce so this is a dicasium type inflorescence again here a single flower and here uh, lateral flower two lateral flower produce so this is also uh, shows a um, uh, shows dicasium type inflorescence now now next flower produce from so next flower produce from this portion okay so this is so a scorpioid like arrangement next flower if produce from this portion again this flower produce next flower from this portion okay so this is so a called scorpioid type inflorescence this is second this is third and this is fourth right again here if this is second flower so this is so a uh, dicasium type inflorescence and this inflorescence shows a monocasium type 
स्कॉर्पियो टाइप इन्फ्लुएसन राइट सो दिस वेन दिस टू टाइप इन्फ्लुएसन प्रेजेंट दैन दिस इज दिस इन्फ्लुएस नोन एज वर्टी सिलेस्टर इन्फ्लोरेस राइट ओके सो दिस इज डाइकसियम टाइप इन्फ्लुएस नाउ दिस लैटरल ब्रांच प्रोड्यूस फ्लावर इन स्कॉर्पियोड मैनर राइट सो दिस फ्लावर प्रोड्यूस फ्रॉम दिस पोर्सन ओके from this node again again a flower produce alternately so first flower produce from this uh, side send ne next flower produce from alternately means from this portion right so this is so a scorpio scorpio like inflorescence right so this is also same manner this is produce also same manner so this type inflorescence known as verti celester okay so next uh, this uh, axis this uh, axis became contains so after contains this axis and each uh, floral axis we see we will see that all flower produce in a whole manner but this is false okay arrangement is like this but after contains of this primary axis and all floral axis it looks like a uh, pr flower produce sessile flower produce from a primary axis in a whole manner okay but this is a wrong concept uh, bharti celester means always dicasium type flower produce and then this is change into monocasial type inflorescence cymos inflorescence so this is a uh, special type inflorescence now next type inflorescence is cyathium so so let me give some number in this flower if this is first this is first right if this is first flower then this is second flower right so this is dicasium type now this is third flower right this is third flower and this is fourth flower this is third this is also third this is fourth and this is also fourth so it is a verticillester inflorescence now uh, cyathium type inflorescence cyathium inflorescence also a special type because because if it is a primary axis or rachis okay so from this portion a single female flower produce so this is a single female flower and this female flower cover by many scorpioid sessile flowers okay so this is a single flower okay and again this flower contain many scorpioid like sessile uh, sorry called scorpioid like flower which only contain uh, stamen okay so male flower always contain only stamen okay so and this stamen arrangement always scorpioid like so this type arrangement right both side in both side many scorpioid like arrangement we can see in in the case of male flower and single only a single female flower produce present in this cyathium and this arrangement scorpioid like right alternately flower produce from each floral axis so this is a okay now now so this is a total inflorescence because female male both flower present and this all inflorescence covered by a bract so this all inflorescence 
are covered by a bract okay so this is a bract bract sometimes also contain some so this is a bract okay and this bract sometimes contain some nectars okay and flower arrangement like this so this is also a special type flower arrangement and known as cyathium now next type inflorescence special type inflorescence is hypanthodium so in case of hypanthodium we know that a cup shaped receptacle present right always a cup shaped receptacle present which contain a single pore which contain a single pore right a cup shaped receptacle which contain a single pore and flower arrangement three type flower we can see in this type inflorescence okay male flower male flower produce in this portion some hairs produce here some hairs produce here and male flower produce this area upper portion okay middle portion some sterile flower produce and female flower produce from this lower region okay so this type inflorescence known as hypanthodium and a single pore and this uh, inflorescence opening by a sim single pore so this type inflorescence known as hypanthodium with three types flower we so this is male flower we see this is sterile flower and these are female flower okay and this is a receptacle cup shaped fleshy receptacle now so this is about hypanthodium now next type is coanthium coanthium type inflorescence so this is also same like this but here receptacle receptacle flatty flat receptacle produce this receptacle contain many raised flowers okay so many raised flower contain receptacle contain many this receptacle contain many raised flower okay raised type flower raised or dix type flower and margins of this receptacle up curved so margin of this receptacle slightly up curved curved like so this type inflorescence known as conanthium type inflorescence okay so these are cymose type inflorescence okay if you like this video then press the like button subscribe to my channel press the bell icon to get notifications and share it and thank you for watching this video